Hello everyone. So in the last video we had a little discussion regarding the packetization and I told you how this packetization is implemented. One is by creating virtual circuit and second one is by using the datagram. Now this virtual circuit is generally connection oriented. It means that whenever the first packet we are going to transmit that is going to contain all the path information and it is going to reserve buffer in every router which is there the path and then all the other packets they are going to follow the, exactly the first packet. Now generally what is the structure that in every data packet here there are two things number one is the data and second one is the header. Now in this video itself we are going to discuss about this header that is what is the information contained in this header that is what information is contained in this header contained in this header part and how it is used how it is used for various functionalities for example if we have different commands like trace root is a command then how we use this header to trace the root and what are the different uses of all the fields inside this header and what are the different fields that is there so we'll have this discussion regarding this header now generally nowadays we have uh, internet protocol version 6 ipv6 is now a they are implementing this but earlier we used to have IPv4 so we'll start with the internet protocol version 4 it is pretty simple as compared to the IPv6 but we'll discuss about both IPv4 and IPv6 headers okay so IPv6 header we'll discuss uh, we have already created videos on IPv6 header so in this video I'm just going to discuss about the IPv4 header now this IPv4 header is having all these fields that, that is given in this given slide so you can say that uh, we'll, just, we'll just take all these fields one by one. So the first field is the version. So version says that uh, whether this entire uh, packet uh, is IPv4 version or IPv6 but generally it is only containing for the IPv4. That is it is going to see version and here you can see how many bits it is. So this is bit number 1, bit number 2, bit number 3 and bit number 4. So the version field in this IPv4 header is of 4 bit okay so generally you can divide it in three ways number one is the nibble nibble is generally of 4 bits the second one is a byte which is generally a total of 8 bits so byte we are measuring from here to here and third one is a word which is generally greater than that so which can be 16 bit and so on okay now the first field that is containing in the ipv4 header is a version that is which version is it is it ip4 or ipv6 so obviously most of the time it is only containing the information related to the ip4 because ipv6 header is containing it's entirely different i mean contains a lot of different things which is ip4 does not contain and second field is the header length field now this header length field is generally containing what is the size of this header so what happens is when we have a packet like this now this header and this is a data now this header length field can vary so minimum it can be of 20 bytes or maximum it can be of 60 bytes so this header length field there's a lot of fields which are optional which contain some information so this header length can be fixed or it can it uh, it, it can be varying so that is why with every header whenever we are sending we have to send what is the length of this header we'll discuss about length now this header length field is again of 4 bits it is of 4 bits as you can see here 1, 2, 3 and 4 it is of 4 bits okay then we have the type of service field now this type of service field is total of 8 bits you can see here it is of 8 bits and then we have a total length field now this total length field is of 16 bits 16 bits so you can see the 16 bit here 8 bit here and total of 8 bit here so which is a total of 32 bits so this entire first row this entire first row let me draw it properly here this entire first row from here to here it is of total 32 bits or if you convert into bytes then that is going to be 4 bytes okay the next field is the identification and this identification is of 16 bits we will discuss about all these fields one by one 
with thorough details i mean how the certification field is used how it is going to store the values or how this type of service field is used what values it is going to store what are the different codes for every value then we have this field which is called which is actually storing three specific information uh, it stores actually three information number one is a bit one single bit and this bit is uh, a flag bit which is not at all used so it, this entire uh, thing is divided to three bits you can see here it is a total of three bits okay so let me write it down here it is of three bits so it contains three information number one is one bit which is not at all used which is generally called as a flag bit flag bit and second information d when where i'm saying d it means do not fragment do not fragment okay i'll see what i'll tell you what is the do not fragment field and the third field is the more fragment mf then again i'm going to explain what is this more fragment field and then we have fragment offset field and this fragment offset field is again of 13 bits you can calculate from here to here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 so it is of 13 bits each again the second row is also of 4 bytes okay the third row is containing this time to live which is a TTL field this time to live field is of 8 bits then we have protocol that means uh, what protocols we are following so again it is of 8 bits we will discuss about this on later on in the com upcoming video and then we have header checksum uh, to check whether there is any errors in the header or not again we are going to discuss about this so this entire row is again of 4 bytes okay then we have source IP address now because we are using IPv version 4 therefore the IP address in IPv version 4 is of 32 bits so again this entire field is of 4 bytes and again this field is also 4 bytes okay now the fields from here to here I mean all these fields that we have discussed they are the mandatory fields they are mandatory fields that means these information should carry now this field is generally containing all the option information which is uh, the variable length information generally it also used in commands like we have trace root like trace rt command is there which stores all the uh, IP addresses of the routers which are present in, in the entire route and so many different ways we can use this field now this is an optional field and this optional field is again uh, it is optional it is not necessary that you have to include this field and this entire optional field okay you can see it is um, total of 0 to 40 bytes so it can be 0 byte or it can be till 40 bytes so you can see all the mandatory fields here they are a total of 20 bytes but this optional field can be of at maximum 40 bytes so in total the maximum size of IP headers can be 20 byte plus 40 bytes which is again going to be 60 bytes so maximum size of IP headers can be uh, IP header can be of 60 byte okay so here you can see I have just given a brief introduction about all the fields here uh, again the first field is a version which tells which version is it and the protocol field that we have seen here the protocol field which tells what protocol we are using whether it is ICMP protocol whether it is IGMP protocol whether it is TG, TCP protocol UDP that is user data gap protocol GRE ESP AH skip and so on there are so many different protocol fields protocols are there and now this header length field this header length field is containing uh, the length of the header uh, uh, which as I have discussed here I am going to discuss it how this length of the header field is calculated because it is only a 4 bit then how can we store all the uh, size of this entire IP4 header within 4 bits why because with 4 bits only 16 combinations are possible but the size of this entire uh, header can be of at maximum 60 bytes so how we are going to represent all these 60 bytes just by this 4 bits ok then we have total length field that is the total length of the IP datagram again here this is the total length of the IP datagram that we are having uh, we are going to discuss it uh, uh, in the upcoming video then we have fragment offset field which is here the fragment offset field which uh, uh, offset from start of the IP datagram which measures in 8 bytes we will discuss how this is used how uh, this total length uh, this fragment offset how, what information is stored by the fragment offset field and how it is working then we have the header checksum field which about uh, checksum of the entire IP header for finding the errors again we will see about it then this field is divided into three parts number one is the IP flag the second one is the do not fragment field 
and third one is the more fragment field so we'll discuss about all these things what is the result bit what is this do not fragment field and what is the more fragment field and we are also going to discuss about all the other fields how uh, this optional fields is going to work okay and uh, this is just just for uh, you know explaining you that there's a difference between ipv6 header and ipv4 header as you can see this ipv6 header here uh, it is containing the version it is containing the traffic class again it tells what type of traffic it is whether it is a video traffic or multimedia traffic whether it is a text traffic or whatever and then we have follow label then we have payload length that is what the size of the data it is carrying then we have next header field then we have hope limit field that is which generally hope limit is again it is like time to live we'll discuss that if we have already created a video for ipv6 but we can discuss it later on also then we have source address field and we have the destination address field so again because ipv6 had uh, the size of ipv6 header uh, the ip address of ipv6 header is much bigger as compared to ipv4 in ipv6 the ip addresses that we have like source address it is of 128 bit and destination address is also 128 bit okay and uh, that is why these fields are much bigger as compared to the ipv4 field okay so let us uh, look in the next video where i'm going to discuss about all these fields one by one and thorough details i mean how this header field is working what kind of information is storing how it is storing all the information all these things we'll see in the next video okay